Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I just did six videos to include this one. And I assure you, if you pay attention to those six videos, you will be able to, well, actually seven, because it starts here with this one about, I'm in the business of selling tax credits. Man, ladies and gentlemen, I could not have realized a better biz business venture than selling tax credits. Who Lord, y'all just have no clue as to selling tax credits, how much that benefits you when you know what you're doing. So I'm in the benef the, 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 the business of selling tax credits, okay? The business of selling tax credits. Now I just did two videos. What's new at SACOM? And it also talks about the whole process. I would pay attention to that video. I would pay attention to these last seven videos. It is what will help you. If you want to start a business, pay attention to all seven. Go over all seven. Remember, I'm not making any money off of you. None of my videos ask for a dime. Look at that. This video I just did. What Google is see, it's at only 1%, I mean 0%. What Google is doing is it's going through the video it's how an algorithm going through the video watching what I say okay because they're pissed off at me why because not only did they have to reverse a decision but they're giving me a reason to come after them because I brought up the fact that they retaliated against me and they did it on purpose and then they claimed I violated their policy and then I filed an appeal and they ignored my appeal and then I let them know they're an administrative organization all corporations are administrative organization they must have an administrative process even satcom has an administrative process the first thing you do you got a problem you tell them hey i got a problem and then they escalate it they send it to a supervisor the supervisor hears the problem and if the supervisor doesn't respond then you go straight to the admin that's why it's called admin and you contact admin saying i contact the support now admin the first thing they do is they contact support this person contact you Man, if you did not contact support, now you violated company policy. Now you pretty much ain't gonna get too much done. But if you followed policy, man, there was one guy who told me he hadn't received this, hadn't received that. I asked him to send me a copy of his receipt because he said he bought a sap pack. Send me a copy of the receipt because I can't find your name anywhere. That was over a week ago. I haven't received a copy of his receipt. I've gone through all of our emails. I have a copy of all of our emails. All of our previous emails are on my computer. They are saved to my computer. I don't have to check any system. I've downloaded them to my system. So when somebody has a problem, I, as CEO, get the check. Hey, there you go. You did. We had three people whom their paperwork got literally delayed by the post office. We never received it. And so I had to bring them all to the Omega pack. Look, all that time I've been talking, I've been talking for three minutes and it's only 1% of this video is up. It's an hour and 20 minutes long, but only 1% of that video is up. That is a shame, ain't it? That video is just, it's just a recap of all of these videos. Oh, and then I'll just watch that one though because it doesn't go through the details of each of these videos. That's why you watch those first and then you watch the recap. God, what's wrong with you people? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the way all of this works out is this way. There are many of you who are without work. There are many of you who don't want to go to an environment where you're around a bunch of other people and you're going to end up getting sick. I've told you, many of you have not paid attention because you think that you don't have to listen to what I say. I don't know what I'm talking about. So let me ask you a question. When in any of my videos have you found me wrong on any subject? Go ahead, go back. I, I, I will wait. Go back and find a video where I am wrong on something. Go ahead. Go ahead and check my videos and see the accuracy rate with the information I'm producing. Interesting, ain't it? Interesting, ain't it? So you don't have to pay attention to me. I told you a pandem 
pa 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 pandemic a pa 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 pandemic was coming since 2013 and here it is well scientists have been saying a pandemic is coming since 2020 2014 2010 2019 1994 2086 they've been saying it for centuries that a pandemic was coming like the pandemics of the past yes you're right they have been saying a pandemic is coming so what i told you is i couldn't tell you everything so i did tell you what if ebola and the covid virus decided to elope and invite everybody to the reception made it mandatory that you come to the reception and participate in the reception and then sent you home with some parting gifts what would you do and now in china ebola and corona are coming together <laughs> they are in the same city can you imagine how many people in that city have both that harm uh, homoglobic fever hemoglobin blood disorder which is ebola and pay attention pay attention corona omicron which is the variant that spreads faster and more rapidly than anything else how many of them got the same thing what's going to happen now how fast is that going to spread who's going to be the first to announce that somebody has this new new virus it's not even a new variant it's a whole new virus altogether we've not seen this before oh man this thing is spreading so rapidly we got to shut down everything that's what i've seen people i was there i literally saw it literally was there i told you it can't happen any other way go ahead and see if they can make this end any other way i kept telling you about ebola i kept saying what if ebola and corona come together i thought originally it was going to be ebola because they were hyping it but if you go ahead and look at africa ebola hasn't gone anywhere that's never happened before where ebola has lasted ebola has lasted eight years in africa eight years it has never died out go and look at the reports you'll see that it keeps popping up it was in the congo the last i checked and i didn't bother to check after that but watch this hold on let's see Do -do -do -do. E oh i'm sorry i can't do it here no i gotta do it here that's only gonna check my site so i apologize i gotta go here again ebola and corona in it's called Xi'an. 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 That's Xi'an. If you don't know how to pronounce that, just think of an S with E-E-O-N. Xi'an. Okay. Xi'an. 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 E-B-O-L-A. A-F. Africa's a continent, not a country. Africa's a continent, not a country. See, Ebola Africa 2021. Let's do that. Because remember, it was 2014. It's 2021. How can Africans cope with Ebola on top of coronavirus pandemic? Look, the resurgence of Ebola in Ghana is raising fears of the uncontrolled spread of the disease. This was 10 months ago. And they're talking about Ebola and Corona. Who was talking about that first before anybody ever mentioned it? Okay. Following the 2013 to 2016 Ebola outbreak in Western Africa, news of Ebola has gone relatively quiet on an international stage, but it's still there, people. It's still there. I've been trying to tell you it hasn't gone in a place and it's now in China. Pay attention. Pay attention. This is four months ago. West Africa's first ever case of Mamba virus confirmed in Ghana. I have no idea what Malberg virus is. I don't care about Malberg virus. That's not what I was asking about. I said Ebola. I didn't say Malberg. I said Ebola. Ten months. Ghana's Ebola death toll rises 
to five as vaccine rollout begins. Vaccines? Oh yes, the very same vaccines that they're providing now for Corona. So, just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, Ebola still going on. Now, that was 10 months, 12th Ebola outbreak in the Democratic uh, Congo now over. Really? When they talked about it still being there months later. Oops, sorry, homie. Don't care about four years ago. We want to. We want the recent stuff. So that's what I'm going to suggest you guys do. Whoa, the truth about the deadly virus Ebola 2021. I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for that. What you doing? Go, on, go backwards. Have you ever wondered what happens no, when you I pour didn't salt, wonder. salt I don't into care. a cabbage? What are you doing? The N remedy not only helps you balance the gut flora. What's she doing? Is our Why first line of defense talking? against toxins. I clicked and off of her. I clicked off of her. Why was she still talking? Lord have mercy. Powerful That's bacteria. Bacteria. Oh, also she's still acts talking. As a colon. She's still talking. She's still going to be talking in a second, too. I, I didn't ask for her. But also acts as a colon, colon cleanser, cleanser and balances she our own system. She is still talking. This probiotic. Let's get rid of her. Lord have mercy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. They're having an Ebola vaccine. Imagine that, ladies and gentlemen. The first case of Malmberg virus found in West Africa. I don't know that virus, ladies and gentlemen. But all I can tell you is, can you imagine? Let's find out what Malmberg virus is. Let's hold on. I'm interested because I don't know what Malmberg. And we got to turn the... It's... It's back, the volume's back on. Health authorities in Guinea are monitoring 155 people who may have been in contact with a confirmed case of Marburg virus, a highly infectious hemorrhagic fever that's similar to Ebola. The World Health Organization says that it's believed to be the first case in West Africa. And it Could this be the hemorrhagic fever that's going on in China? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, but I now know why it was Malberg virus. I now know why it's in Africa and why it's a concern. Comes just comes two months two after months Guinea after was declared free, free of Ebola. Ebola. The region the was region the, origin the origin of the 2014 to 16 West Africa, Africa Ebola, Ebola outbreak, outbreak, which was the which deadliest, deadliest in history. history. It also, it also saw, saw a brief a resurgence of Ebola, Ebola this, this year. year. The WHO, the WHO said Marburg, said Marburg had, been had been circulating in animals, circulating particularly, animals bats, particularly bats, in southern in Guinea southern and neighboring and Sierra, Sierra Leone and, and Liberia. Liberia. Pathogens, Pathogens have tended, tended to cross from animals, animals to humans, to humans in, the in the region because of their close interaction, interaction notably in the, in the hunting, hunting and eating, and eating of bushmeat bush from the wild. Ladies and gentlemen, they know for a fact that Ebola does not come from bats or rats. They know this for a fact, and they keep preaching that junk. Ebola, pay attention, was created in a laboratory. Go do your research. The so-called Virginia lab, and I think, what was the other one? Virginia, and I think it's the one in North Carolina, and the one in D.C. D.C., where the first outbreak ever occurred of Ebola. The very first outbreak of Ebola ever to occur did not happen in Africa. It happened in D.C. Do your research, people. Do your research. Marburg and Ebola, and Ebola are closely, are closely related, related, and transmission, and transmission between, between humans, humans is usually, is through, usually contact through contact with blood, blood or other or bodily, bodily fluids. fluids. Marburg Usually. fatality rates in past outbreaks have varied from 24 to 88 percent of those infected. But George's Kizerbo, the country's WHO head, said they were much better prepared to handle an outbreak. Uh, there is no known secondary case apart from the first case uh, confirmed. Um, the contacts have been traced and um, okay. 135 Thank you for people are under observation. For uh, three Holy. weeks, to make sure to that we did not shut, come shut up. Into shut up already. Virus. He's still talking. He added that he added the discovery the of the Marburg, Marburg case, case also indicated improved, improved ability, ability to detect.
Ladies and gentlemen, I do need all of you to pay attention to this because this is more important than anything else that I've been saying all night. This was Africa in August. August, ladies and gentlemen. Four months ago. This was Africa in August. Four months ago. As I said, what happens when Ebola and pay attention corona meet up with each other okay there is nothing preventing ebola and corona from coming together and having a party i told you those two are going to elope they're going to get married and they're going to invite everybody to the reception and you're not going to have a choice that's all i can tell you is you're not going to have a choice and they're going to claim it's a new virus and that's all she wrote ladies and gentlemen i'm looking for a current story but we we got that story and we know that it was four months ago that that story was out there so we know that that's a problem okay we know that this malmberg virus is nothing but ebola four months ago okay I'm going to listen to that story because now I'm interested because now I know what that virus is. Y'all not going to listen to it because y'all got to go on about y'all business. Y'all got to go back over those seven videos because look, you're going to be stuck at home, people. You're going to be needing to bring money into your home. You're going to be needing to have stuff delivered to your home. You're going to be needing to figure out what's going on. The dollar will be devalued. But as I told members of my organization, since the tax credits are backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government, even if they devalue the dollar to where it is worth negative 80 cents on the dollar. Negative 80 cents. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a billion dollars and now the dollar is worth negative 80 cents, you will end up with 80 million dollars. No, I'm, yeah, a billion dollars, 80 million dollars is what you'll end up with. Okay. So you will still have access to funds, tax credits, tax credits, tax credits is lawful money. It's the full faith and credit of the government. That means it is backed by the full faith and credit. It is lawful money. That's the issue. I got to go, ladies and gentlemen. I got a story I got to go watch, and then I got to go get some rest. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. All right. Got to go. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.